Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we can see the fungal classification. That is the remaining portion of fungal classification. We have already heard the uh, basics of fungal classification in the previous session. Today we can see the classification in detail. Uh, classification of fungus, it is primarily based on the sexual stage of their life cycle. That is mainly uh, sexual spores and the fruiting bodies of the fungus. Other characters are morphology of asexual spores, morphology of thallus, thallus means the body of fungus and also the presence of locomotory organelles such as flagella. Then we can see three terms, anamorph, teleomorph and holomorph. Have you heard about these terms? Anamorph means mitosporic fungi that is asexual state, teleomorph or meiosporic fungi that is sexual state. If both sexual and asexual state present, it is called holomorph. This taxonomy of fungus, it is mainly following the recommendations of the International Committee. That is the rules of botanical nomenclature. There is a committee for uh, this uh, taxonomy. And according to this committee, uh, the various taxa have endings as follows. That is division, it ends in mycota. Subdivision ends in mycotina. Classes ends in mycets. Subclasses in mycetidae. Orders in ales. Families in ACI. And here we can see genus and species, they have no special endings. This is the overall classification or outline of fungal classification given by Alexopolis. We have already discussed it. Then coming to the details, first we can see kingdom mycetate is divided into three divisions. They are gymnomycota, mastigomycota and mastigomycota. Then, division gymnomycota, it includes mainly organisms ingesting particulate nutrients. They lack cell wall in the vegetative state. This division gymnomycota is divided into subdivisions. They are Acrasio gymnomycotina and Plasmodio gymnomycotina. First, we can see Acrasio gymnomycotina. It includes a single class, class Acrasiomycetes. Class Acrasiomyces include cellular slime molds. Vegetative form is the free living amoebae. Then lacks flagella except one species. Then amoeba, it aggregates to form a stalked sorocarp that is a fruiting body bearing spores in a mucilaginous matrix. And here the fruiting body of the slime molds are uh, commonly known as sori. Then two subclasses Acrasiomycetidae and Dictyostereomycetidae. Example is Dictyostelium discoidium and this is the life cycle of this Dictyostelium discoidum. Here we can see the different stages of the uh, fungus that is amoeba stage can be seen and aggregation of amoeba resulting in the formation of the uh, fruiting body again. Then coming to the subdivision 2 that is Plasmodio gymnomycotina, it includes a cellular slime molds. Vegetative stage is a well wall-less plasmodium. Multicellular form plasmodium transforms to highly organized sporangia with sporangiospores. Now here the spores is sporangiospores. It is divided into two uh, classes. It is divided into two classes. Two classes are protosteliomycetes and myxomycetes. Three subclasses can be seen, Caratio myxomycetidae, myxogastromycetidae and stemonitomycetidae. Example is Physarum polycephalum. This is the life cycle of Physarum polycephalum. Here also we can see different stages. Here is the mature plasmodium stage. Okay, then Division Mastigomycota, this is the second division. It includes mainly uh, flagellated lower fungus, uh, mainly aquatic fungi, fungi can be seen. Uh, they are having uh, flagellated cells. Include unicellular or filamentous form and is having absorptive mode of nutrition. Then division Mastigomycota, it is again subdivided into Haplomastigomycota and subdivision Diplomastigomycotina. Okay, subdivision ends in mycotina, not mycota, mycotina. Then haplomasticomycotina include fungi with uh, single flagella or biflagellated uh, suspos can be seen. Suspos mean, means motiles for angiospores include three classes. They are class chytridiomycetes, class hypochytridiomycetes, class plasmodioforomycetes. First we can see class chytridiomycetes. 
This include mainly motile cells, motile source pores uh, with a single posteriorly placed whiplash flagella. That is, this is the anterior end and this is the posterior end. And here we can see the posterior region. A whiplash flagellum can be seen extending downwards. And one example is Allomyces macrogynus. This is the simple uh, diagram showing the life cycle of this Allomyces macrogynus. Next class or the second class is hypochytridiomycetes. Here also we can see motile cells. Here also a single flagellum can be seen but it is anteriorly placed. And this anteriorly placed tin cell flagella. Tin cell flagella we you know, all know that it is a feather like flagellum. And this is placed anteriorly a single tin cell flagella. And example is hypochytridium catenoids. Third class is Plasmodioforomyces. Here we can see mainly parasitic fungus. Parasitic fungus of higher plants can be seen in class Plasmodioforomyces. Therefore, they are mainly obligate parasites. Obligate parasites means they are strict parasites. That is, they require a host for completing their life cycle or for their growth they require or they depend a host. That is obligate parasite. They produce by flagellate motile cells. Here also we can see two flagella will be formed and the flagella it is whiplash flagella and this whiplash flagella it is unequal. One peculiarity of this whiplash flagella is uh, whiplash flagella they are unequal in length that is one will be small and one will be long and this whiplash flagellum it is placed anteriorly. Therefore, plasmodioforomycetes, they are parasitic fungus of higher plants. They are obligate parasites. They produce biflagellated cells and they are unequal flagella anteriorly placed and whiplash type flagellum. And example is plasmodioforobrasica. And this plasmodioforobrasica is the main agent of club root disease in plants. That is, this is the club root uh, and this is a diseased, disease condition seen in plants and this is the normal root. Next we can see the subdivision Diplomastigo mycotina. Here we can see sexual reproduction. It is mainly by Ugami. Then spores can be seen and it is by flagellated spores can be seen. Include a single class called Oomycetes. Next is class Oomycetes. Class Oomycetes. They are motile cells with again two laterally inserted flagella. Here the flagella they are ante not anterior or posterior but they are laterally inserted. One tinsel and one uh, whiplash flagellum can be seen. That is two types of flagella can be seen and the flagellum they are laterally inserted that is at the sides. Tinsel flagella it is directed anteriorly. It is inserted laterally but it is directed anteriorly. Similarly, whiplash flagellum is directed posteriorly. So, we can see two laterally inserted flagella directed, one directed anteriorly and other directed posteriorly. Anteriorly directed flagellum, it is tinsel type and posteriorly directed flagellum, it is whiplash type. Example is saprolegnia ferrax. That's all about today. And we can see the remaining portion of the classification in the next video. Hope you all understand the session. Thank you for your patient hearing.